we have tried to turn our hand to um, not comedy, but making a spoof um, documentary about ourselves. And um, basically, in it, it celebrates all the things that people have criticised us for over the years. It's as much about a just a sense of a couple of people who are facing total failure and annihilation, and it's they're trying to um, crawl their way back, basically, and it's everything that happens to them through the process. So um, there are things in it that will mirror slightly our lives, because that's the only way that we would have appeared convincing um, filming them. But a lot of it is a scripted comedy, and we ad lib in it, but we have actors around it, and there's an arc to a story, and there's a you know a sense of what you need from each scene. So, you know, there are moments where our agent fires us. We're fired by a contract that we were going to make a lot of money from. You know, friends leave. We have to find a new agent. He's appalling. You know, we do focus groups. They're terrible. You know, so there's all these things that happen which could easily happen to us. Some things have been close to what have happened in our lives. But um, most of them are set up, <laughs> yeah. But the focus groups were not set up at all. And we were watching the focus groups from this room. There was a link, TV link, for us to watch. And first focus group came in, and they were so rude about us. It was, it was more... And so that was not set up. That was absolutely genuine. And we then went out, and it was like our idiot agent, Toby, said, OK, well, he then puts on this little tinny tape and it goes, here come the girls, like, it's got a big fanfare, and all these people are mortified that they've been saying these things about in us front in front of our faces. We then turn them around. I literally am sobbing and saying, you just don't understand us. We're so passionate about what we